Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here, and today's video is about uh, this gentleman here. So, green reading books. Um, I was sent this one, and I was sent, and uh, we're lucky at the Benita Bay where I am based. We have five courses, so I was sent uh, a couple of these um, for a couple of the courses um, to have a play around with. And in the time they sent it to me, uh, the PGA released a statement that they are intending to ban green reading books next year. And it sounded like it's an intention that is like a suggestion that probably won't be overruled. So I hadn't. Well, that's not true, actually. I have used one of these once before. When I was filming in France, so this would have been probably three, maybe four years ago with uh, Jimbo Jet Golf, uh, we played a beautiful course that had just had a challenge tour event and um, the pro kindly gave us the book alongside the yardage book. And first things first, they are not magic wands. So I got it out on one hole because I was completely confused. Um, I opened it up, I'm looking at all these lines, and I, I was, and it actually confused me. So, like anything, and I think sometimes in golf, we see something when someone's doing well, and we go, oh, that's an advantage, and we don't factor in that, yes, it might be an advantage, but it's also a skill. And um, I, we've seen this with putting, with um, the broom handles, or the fixed nature being banned, you're allowed arm lock, um, lines on the ball. You know, all of these things can help, but they are a skill. And for everybody it helps, it actually, a lot of the time, hinders people. Um, Xander Sheffley just won the gold medal at the Olympics. Um, he was using an arm lock putter because that makes putting easier, and he putted worse. You know, at the US Open, you could argue it almost cost him the event. Um, you'll notice he putted unbelievable in Japan with a standard putter. So for everybody it helps. It doesn't help everybody, it's hinder, it's a skill. But um, I got to play a few holes. So I went out, played a few holes, used the chart to see does it help. Um, of course there are great benefits to it, but the bit that I thought it helped the most was, and uh, this is the uh, Golf Logics one. Um, that lots of companies do do these. Um, let me find a hole, like this one here. Awesome. The, the 12th on our Creekside course, and you probably see that. Can you see? No coloring. So that's showing the flat parts of the greens. Uh, the 12th that we have, um, very slopey green, um, lots of slopes off the side, but it's showing the back portion, not much break whatsoever, not much slope. Um, a lot of the time, it's the straight ones or the areas that don't have any break. It's hard to commit to the fact there's no break. Um, what I found that the most useful thing here, so you, when, when you're in that double guessing yourself, you actually go, look, there is no break, hit it straight. And that might sound simple, but a lot of the time with putting, it's about getting the read right, getting the pace right, and trusting it. And a lot of the time, people struggle without the trust. Um, the numbers that it puts on them, so it gives you the gradients. Um, you have to learn what those gradients are, and I think those gradients could actually be a hindrance if you didn't know. Um, because um, I have used Aimpoint for years now, Aimpoint does use a, the percentage system that the book is using. So for an aim pointer, I could see this being of great benefit because you can confirm the amount of break or the amount of slope, I should say. But I had an instant, um, the par five, I hit the green in two. I looked at the book and it was a three, so a three percentage. But when I was feeling it with my feet, I wasn't feeling th three. I gave it three and I, I missed way to the right. Um, I did hold the putt, so I did make birdie. That, nothing to do with anything. I just wanted you to know that I made birdie after a birdie on the previous hole. And I, I did birdie the other hole after, which I don't think I filmed. Actually, I put it up on Instagram. So made a nice bunch of birdies. But in that incident, uh, this didn't help me. 
not because the book was wrong, but it was a, the percentage was downhill. I went in with aim point and I didn't feel it, but because I saw a three, I thought, well, I'd better do a three because I was expecting there to be turn. And actually the percentage was down because aim point's more about the side to side. The book was more about the downward nature. So I ended up having a big misread more because I wasn't used to using the book. Um, would it help the average golfer? Um, yeah, I, I believe it would, but it's like I said earlier, it's not a magic wand. And sometimes with the answer, your ability to trust is more important. And I think the guys on tour that do well are the guys that trust it the most. And um, you can take these books away next year. And will that affect some of the guys? Probably. But the guys that are good, they trust themselves. They trust their instincts. They trust their process. So when this goes, and th th there will be some form of it, for sure. But um, trusting your process is how you hold more putt. Obviously, having the ability to read well, get pace, having a pretty good technique. Obviously, they all go into the bowl of being able to hold putts. But I think trust is something that a lot of people don't mention, don't think about. Um, if using one of these can help you, so if you're undecisive, um, this could be very helpful. Um, if you are playing a, another course, so um, I work with couple of elite players one in particular we um he he has been using these books because it makes sense if you're going to a course that you haven't seen doesn't get it out all the time you know um, he uses aim point is his um primary way to read the greens but when confused when not trusting what you think it should be when there's a discrepancy between what you're seeing what you're feeling versus what you're feeling um, trying to use this as a way of um, breaking that tie, so to speak, um, can have a massive benefit. But uh, yeah, get some comments down below. Do you think these should be banned? But have you used them? Because I think too often pe people dismiss things without trying them and don't realize that actually around your home course, even if it helps you build a better process, it could be a way for you to uh, improve your scores. But as always, thanks for watching. Stay happy. Stay safe. Hope to catch you soon.